the Met Gala, which is an annual fundraising gala held for the benefit of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, has become one of the biggest fashion events over time. Year after year, you see celebrities walking the stairs up to the gala in some of the most beautiful, iconic, and let's face it, downright weird dresses. I mean, we all remember the 2019 theme of camp, right? But this year, the theme for 2022 was Gilded Glamour. And we saw a lot of celebrities in beautifully created dresses walk the carpet. From Kim Kardashian, who wore the exact dress worn by Marilyn Monroe, to Billie Eilish, who was applauded as one of the best representations of the theme. We got a night filled with some amazing attires. But some of these designs were actually an ode to and inspired by architecture. So welcome to Bless Dark and today in this video, we will look at a few dresses of the Met Gala and their connection to architecture. Can't wait. Love you. Bye. Love ya. <laughs> now before we dive deep into the dresses, let's put 60 seconds on the clock to talk about the theme of the night, Gilded Glamour. The theme here refers to the Gilded Age, which was a 30-year period at the end of the 19th century that saw skyrocketing wealth for industrialist families in the US and over-the-top fashion for New York City's upper class. Basically, this was the time the rich got really rich, and one of the ways they showcased their wealth was through fashion. In this era, you saw the most opulent, abundant, and frankly, a little over-the-top attires. It was as if each one was trying to better the other in trying to be unique, the most rare, the most luxurious. Just a side note, this was also the time that saw one of the most rapid increases in wealth gap in the society. We can go on and on about this age, but our time is almost up. So let's come back to the 21st century to May 2nd, 2022 and look at a few dresses that were inspired by architecture. One of the best and universally loved dresses of the night was that of Blake Lively. She and Ryan Reynolds were the co-hosts of the Met Gala this year. She arrived at the venue with this copper-coloured dress folded up and tied in a neat bow. As she escalated up the stairs, her bow was released to reveal a long skirt in an aged copper tone. This stunning attire was actually inspired by the Statue of Liberty and how it has aged over time. When it was first gifted to the US, the statue was a shiny brown colour, the same as that of a penny. Over time, it has oxidised into what it is today. And Blake's dress was a beautiful rendition of this change. But it wasn't just the Statue of Liberty that gave her the impressions. The patterns on her dresses were inspired by the Art Deco shapes and patterns of the Empire State Building. And there were also painted on the dress the constellations from the Grand Central Station in New York. For those of you who do not know, the constellations is a mural on the ceiling of the Grand Central Station which was painted in 1913. Also, fun fact, the constellations there are actually wrong because the whole image was inverted as it was painted, turning east to west and vice versa. Anyway, hints of these were on Blake's dress. And to finish off the attire was of course the tiara, which I will let Blake explain. And then my crown is has seven spikes because the Statue of Liberty, she has um, uh, seven spikes representing the seven seas and the seven continents, which represents inclusivity, um, welcomeness and freedom. So I thought that was sweet. And then she has 25 windows. So I was like, Lorraine, can you put 25 Lorraine, stones? Lorraine. She's like, who's going to be counting the stones? I was like, me, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> By the way, one of the best videos of the night that went completely viral was when Ryan Reynolds saw the dress and clapped for his wife. Ryan! Okay, next up is the dress by Alicia Keys. She wore a Ralph Lauren dress and a cape adorned with thousands of crystals forming the New York City skyline. Alicia, being born and raised in New York, wanted to pay homage to the city. Unlike Blake, whose dress took inspirations from different structures in the city and abstracted them onto the dress, Alicia's approach was more direct. 200,000 crystals were used to create a skyline of the city on her cape, creating a shining, glittering homage to NYC during the Gilded Age. Next up is a look that both seems to fit into the Gilded Age and the 23rd century. And this was the attire worn by Frederick Robertson. 
This futuristic attire was made with recycled mylar and was used to create delicate feather-like shape that radiated from his shoulders and legs. The individual quills were hand sewn onto the pants and the sheer tulle top. He also said that this dress had actually been inspired by architecture. Now we didn't get much explanation beyond that, but I think the dress was inspired by the new age architectural exploration into form and parametricism. I became sure of this when I found out that the dress had been designed by none other than the Dutch fashion designer Iris van Herpen. Over the years, she has stunned the world with some great and inspired pieces. She had even collaborated with architect Neri Oxman to create a 3D printed dress. And over time, she's revealed that she gets inspired by different things, including architecture. And she did not just design one, but two dresses that were worn that night. Dove Cameron too wore a dress designed by Iris. This dress called the Spiral Nebula Gown took more than 600 hours to bring to life and it is constructed of recycled mylar. It's sculptural yet flowy with lines that branch out from Iris's arms and legs. During the design process, Iris came up with several different sketches for a potential look. This one, as Dove said, played well into the theme of Gilded Age. I'm not completely sure if both of these designs perfectly fit into what we might call Gilded Glamour, but it surely dares to explore and push the theme into new territories. And that was it you guys, those were the dresses that had architectural inspirations at the Met Gala. Of course, the rest of the gala was started with stars and designs that the world was eagerly both loving and hating on. What were your thoughts on the night and the theme? Also, what did you think of these dresses? Let me know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys soon with more such videos.